How to install a Briggs governor spring Briggs Stratton is the manufacturer of a line of small engines commonly used in lawn and garden equipment such as lawn mowers, rototillers and snow blowers. These engines are equipped with a governor that helps keep the engine running smoothly under varying workloads. As the workload increases, the governor opens the throttle slightly to compensate. Conversely, as the workload lightens, the governor eases the throttle to prevent the engine from over-revving. If your engine's governor isn't functioning properly, you may need to install a Briggs governor spring and linkage to repair the governor's functionality. Things you'll need Briggs Stratton governor spring and linkage Needle nose pliers Open end wrench set Flathead screwdriver Pull on the black rubber boot covering the spark plug to disconnect the spark plug wire from the spark plug. Loosen the screw on top of the engine's air filter and lift the air filter canister off of the carburetor. Insert the angled end of a new Briggs Stratton governor linkage into the top hole and the throttle on the carburetor. Then, attach the other end of the linkage into the top hole on the governor arm on the side of the engine. Insert the long lead end of a new Briggs Stratton governor spring into the second hole on the throttle. Then, insert the short end of the spring into the second hole in the governor arm. Position the air filter into place on top of the carburetor and tighten the screw to hold it in place. Reconnect the spark plug wire to the spark plug and start the engine. Allow the engine to warm up for 5 minutes, then test the engine under various workloads to check the effectiveness of the governor. Tips Warnings when working on a Briggs Stratton engine, always disconnect the spark plug before beginning work on the engine to prevent the engine from accidentally firing.